great news, the Legends 4KP has arrived. I'm super excited to share it with you. To assist in getting content out in a focused and expedient manner, I will be releasing multi-part videos until all have been completed. Let's get started with the first one in the series. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. If you visit wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash ALP 4K EVT, you'll find additional details regarding the Legends Pinball 4KP pre-production model, or EVT. At Games is being incredibly transparent by letting us check out what they've done. This says volumes about the company and their goal to make sure it's the best product possible. If you have questions not listed in the Q&A section of that page, please comment in this video or if you just want to express your opinions. As answers are identified, they will get updated. I've had just a few days with the Legends Pinball 4KP at the present time. I'll share my overall thoughts as we reach the end of this series. We're just getting started. What is inside these two crates is something that very well may change the virtual pinball industry forever. In this video, we're going to unbox the first ever At Games Legends Pinball 4K machine to hit the USA. This isn't a production unit, but rather an engineering sample. There will be some differences between what you're about to see and the final product. This is not my machine to keep. After we take a look at it here, I'll disassemble it and box it back up for At Games Engineering. Keep in mind this is a sample for identifying and refining any issues prior to moving into mass production. This is the version 1.0 build and a version 1.1 is already currently being built. While we will have few tables to test, there are many more in development and will be available by the time you receive yours. I want to sincerely thank At Games for allowing all of us to take a first-hand look at the Legends 4K. Before we dive in further, the Legends 4KP specifications include a Rockchip RK3588 CPU, internal 32GB of flash storage which is expandable with a USB stick and flash drive X, a total of three displays at 32-inch 4K playfield, a 23.8 inch HD back glass and an 8 inch HD DMD. There are 3.5 inch speakers, built in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and gigabit Ethernet. The user interface has been completely redesigned and is known as CE4K. While we have the bottom of the cabinet visible, we'll find an 11 inch speaker grill cover and mounting support for SSF or surround sound feedback. I was curious about it, so I asked At Games, and they told me the SSF kit has been a part of the Legends 4K platform since day one, and all pinball packs will include the data support for the kit should users decide to add it. Shall we play a game? Using the code name of Rachel for the Vibs board as an example, comment below with your guess as to the code name for the SSF kit. It includes will exist throughout this series and revealed at the end. While the legs shown here are silver, the production version will be black and we may be able to take a look at that very soon. With all the legs installed, we can move on to the back box installation. After removing the packaging, there are five connectors to attach to the back box. There are two wooden dowels and two wing nuts to support the back box. A few have asked for close-ups of the connection, so here we go. From what I understand, this is the LVDS connection to the back glass. Then there's two pairs of wires for power to the back glass display and the marquee, and a cable for the speakers, and it appears this white cable is for data and the DMD display. As you may notice, the artwork on the 4KP here is identical to one of the variants on the Legends Pinball Micro. I think it's a great representation of the popular Zakaria and exclusive Taito tables. Of course, it may be updated in the final production model. Remember, this is an EVT. In other words, if you don't like the artwork, well, I'll show you an example of why you may not want to be too concerned about it. Let me back up a bit. Some may find this important. Here's a good example of something that is going to change. The front of the machine may look familiar to you already. However, remember this is the version 1.0 machine and there is already a 1.1 being built. The faux coin door here will instead look more like this render. The coin door will be dropped lower and will have light up LEDs. If you were to put a coin in the coin slot, 
it will actually fall down to the bottom coin return. It's one of those cool features that will be coming in the production version and differs from this early model. The ALP 4K includes two 3.5 inch stereo speakers and an 8 inch HD DMD on the front. The buttons will be the same as on the Legends Pinball HD and the plunger looks identical as well. I've not used the D-pad on the HD cabinet in well over a year, but it appears to be the same. On the HD cabinet, I use the arcade control panel, which also works with the Legends 4K. You may also notice here there is no HDMI or USB ports on the top panel. Here you'll only find the volume up, down, and channel button with a green LED. So where did all the ports go, you may ask? You'll find them all located more conveniently at the back of the machine. The plastics here will be improved and there will be indications as to which port is what. For instance, you'll have three HDMI inputs for connecting to a PC or other device and there will be one USB 3 port, one USB 2 port, and gigabit ethernet. If we move up towards the top of the back box, we'll find a feature I actually had a small amount of input on that you may appreciate. Originally, the marquee LED had three settings, low, medium, and high. I was asked my opinion and happy to report we now have an off, medium, and high setting. So if you're worried about marquee glare on the playfield, that will no longer be an issue. Now we'll discuss some of the key hardware differences between the Legends 4K and the Legends HD. There are a number of hardware differences between the Legends HD and the Legends 4K P. First, the Legends HD has silver legs. Earlier, we saw silver legs being installed on the 4K while filming at Game Sent the black legs, and they definitely look sharp. The same legs can be ordered and fit just fine on the Legends HD as well. The 4K model will ship with black legs. From the ground to the top of the apron, it stands 35 inches, which is about 2.4 inches taller than the Legends HD. This will be welcome news for taller folks. I'm rather short at only 5'5", and I have no trouble viewing from either machine, and I like that it is a bit taller. The body style does look more like a traditional pinball machine, as the cabinet height from the front has been increased from 8.9 inches on the HD to now 11.5 inches on the 4KP. The marquee is actually less prominent and is about a half an inch shorter when compared to the Legends HD, coming in at just under 3 inches when measured from the top of the back box. And speaking of the back box, this is the most exciting aspect to me, there is a massive difference between the two machines. The HD display is 15.6 inches, but the 4KP display is 23.8 inches, which is an 8.2 inch difference between the two. There is also a dedicated 8 inch DMD that no longer takes up any space from the back box. Each of the displays can be connected to a PC or similar device such as the ROG Ally or a Steam Deck and configured independently. Everything about this machine is much faster than what we're used to on the Legends HD. That's thanks to the much faster RK3588 CPU. One cool design aspect is that you can remove these screws and slide out the mainboard. All from the back, you don't have to open up the cabinet. But here's what the current version 1.0 mainboard looks like. There are a lot of changes implemented in the version 1.1 mainboard that we don't have in this particular version but I'm sure some will still be curious to see it. In part two, we'll take a much closer look at the new CE4K user interface, the display, the solenoids, and of course, the gameplay experience in 4K. In this video, we covered the vast majority of the technical details. In the next video, we'll focus more on the software and most importantly, have fun playing some tables and about the overall pinball experience. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informative, please click the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope you'll consider doing so. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very, very soon.